What's up, YouTube? Fat Kings Phil coming at you for my week 257 update from Vertical Sleeve Gastrectomy, which I had back in July of 2013. Uh, details are below. Um, some quick orders of business before we get into the thick of this. No more Facebook, no more Twitter. I don't have either one of those. I meant to mention that in uh, the last um, video, and I can't even update the Fat Kings page or the 50 Shades page or the well, you know, WLS YouTube page. I'm done. I am totally done with uh, with uh, Facebook. I multiple reasons. Um, again, you know, some of the original reasons I posted way back in the day when I quit, but that's it. I've erased my account. The only thing I still have is the chat, uh, just for keeping up with friends. So, if you want to reach me, it is through Instagram, and because of that, I have set up a new Instagram specifically for Fat Kings Phil. So it's at Fat Kings Phil. Um, I'll transfer it up here on the screen. Um, so if that's how you want to reach me, great. Um, and I'll try and be a little more weight loss focused only there, and I'll use my personal uh, Twitter, I'm sorry, my personal Instagram account just for um, family, friends. So if you were following me there, I recommend you start following me over on Fat Kings Phil if you want to do the weight loss stuff. Otherwise, you're not going to see any of the weight loss stuff. Um, and on that note, I cannot record in the gym like a lot of people do. Um, my gym is at work. Some privacy issues there. Um, I can't film in there. I can't take pictures in there easily. Um, I can sneak one in here and there, but but um, you know what? It's not worth my salary, so I'm not going to be fooling around with uh, trying to do things I shouldn't be doing. So so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But uh, you know, if I'm out and about in the weekday or weekends rather, or, you know, doing um, kayaking stuff like that, you'll definitely find all that stuff on on my new my new Instagram account. So um, and I'm accepting everybody there. So before, where I was being very um, tight about who I accepted on my Instagram because it was a family oriented thing. My kids are on there, my house, et cetera, et cetera. Um, don't have to worry about that on my other one. So, um, my kids might be on there, but, um, that, that's not, I'm not too worried about like sharing kid pictures and stuff. So, okay. Um, let's, let's get into the thick of it. So I, um, have been very frustrated as of late. Um, so some, some old habits over the weekend came back due to like some bad personal stuff that happened. Um, that's not really public right yet. Um, and I go, I know this is like old school vague booking, but Hey, and the reality is I was sitting around this weekend in a, in a spot where I hadn't been in a while and, um, somebody's walking by and waving and, um, you know, I'm like, I was starting to do dumb shit and I, I caught that I was doing dumb shit right out of the gates. Um, and that moment, it was like the universe started talking to me. This is going to sound really crazy. You can call it God, you call it whatever you want. I call it the universe, the force, much more in, into the whole idea of that kind of um, the Buddhist kind of thing that inspired George Lucas and, and the Force and Star Wars. So um, the universe, all things connected, all these things. As soon as I noticed that, and I was cognizant of it, and I was aware of what I was doing, all these little things started happening. They're little connected things that just happened all at once. One of those things, and it's gonna sound crazy, but um, for those of you who follow Lacey, Lacey put up a video like out of nowhere her video just showed up in my feed and some other videos that I was watching started mentioning specific things um that I was thinking about and I was like wow that's a strange coincidence you know first one's a coincidence second one's kind of suspicious third one you're looking around the room to see if there's cameras watching you <laughs> but um but um so all these things were kind of speaking to me and I'm like all right I gotta I gotta take stock it's almost been five years I'm coming up on my five-year mark from surgery what the hell? Where am I at? What's going on? What's changed? So I have gone back and looked through. I've started going back through my videos from day one all the way to current. I'm not even probably halfway through yet. And I've been taking notes and I've been analyzing and I've been really looking at where I was making uh, choices and this different decisions and making excuses or, or using reasons. And, and I'm starting to see the patterns of where things started to fall apart. Not that I'm faulting myself for that or I'm beating myself up too much for that because there are legitimate reasons. Um, but we will be talking about those later. I'm not going to get into those right now because I'm still in the analysis stage and I really want to dive into to um to all of that and kind of understand it before i start making plans so um so i'm gonna do a deep analysis this week i'm gonna really try and formulate a new plan i already have notes that are popping up and cropping up i got three or four pages of notes in my little uh journal but i think i know where this is all going i think i know where things are going and why and 
Um, I'm going to throw this out there now with the res right to reserve the ability to pull it back, but I am starting to realize that all the things about me that I've been trying to work on and or modify to some degree, I think I may have gone too far in modifying them in the sense that those are the things that got me down to my lowest weight, to where I was the most mentally clear and the most emotionally clear about my journey and who I am and where I was going and what I wanted. And I have, uh, and I, I know the, the reasons and, and I can tell you exactly when it started and I will. We're we'll going through all that, but we're going to be revisiting some old themes to get my head back in the right space as I move forward. So, um, so if you're along for some crazy, serious maintenance, deep dive mental shit, I'm going to try and go there. And there'll probably be some emotional stuff there too, but, um, some, some, some truths are going to be spoken to myself and I'm, I need to do that for me. So, um, so that being said, so, um, where am I at right now? What am I trying to do for this week? Weight is two, uh, is, is like up point two statistical anomaly. really, um, so I held steady given some of the shitty things that I chose to do. Um, and some of the bad habits that I've just allowed to become normal or excusable. Um, that's really good. The, the downside is I need to lose 15 pounds, period, at least, maybe 20. Um, and we'll see when I get there. And you know what? We're going to, I'm, I am going to start changing the measuring stick that I'm using. Um, because I have just seen through years of videos where I can see where things went sideways. Um, and I'm, again, I will detail more in the future. Uh, just kind of giving you guys a little preview of what's coming. So, um, so yeah. Short term, what am I doing in the meantime? Trying to figure all this out as I approach five years. I'm dropping my calories down about 200 calories per day for this week and next week. I'm going to do two pure weeks of a new calorie level, super clean logging, super clean eating, which I can tell you I have been doing and I'll tell you why I know that. And then absolutely no social drinking. I'm not going out. I'm not having any alcohol of any kind for those two weeks. I'm talking pure, pure, pure for two weeks. Um, not like going back to protein shakes or anything like that. I'm still using food. I'm still going keto, but we are going to get a baseline for what uh, my body will do when I am clean, clean, clean. Because I need to prove to myself that I am on onto something here. I'm, I'm onto something for me. Um, so that's what we're doing. And then um, I have a trip coming up, uh, supposed to go on a trip to Tahoe um, with my guys um, from back in the day, the old crew. I am very emotionally and mentally torn about that. I very much want to see those guys. I want to hang out with them. But I remember a time when I went with those guys, um, I think it was like year two um, and year three, and they, some of them were pretty shitty to me because of the change in dynamic in our group and me being the fit guy. Um, not my core people, but some of the peripheral people were just really shitty to me and um, it really bothered me. So I am torn about whether I'm going to get on that plane um, on the 12th or not. Uh, I have reserved the right to back out at the last second. I don't need to explain it to anybody. If I decide I'm not going, I'm just going to pick up the phone and say, hey, guys, don't wait for me. I'm not going to be able to make it. Um, so that's where I'm at. I told Tanya I felt like something was in the wind uh, Tanya VSG, 2000, whatever you, if you don't know who Tanya is, you're, you're, you're my, my sister from another Mr. Literally, well, maybe the same Mr. We're starting to wonder, <laughs> but, uh, we are so much alike, but, um, um, <laughs> I digress. So, small joke. I can never be totally serious. Um, but I am driven. I, I am, I am focused. I told her I thought something was about to change and I feel like it hit the other day. And I, and I think it was in a catalyst of, I had to kind of go back to a really dark place and to start screwing up. And I caught myself right away, um, which is, which is improvement. And I caught all the negative language and I caught all the narrative I was creating and I just put my foot down to stop it. So, um, and, and I don't blame anybody for me getting that spot. I just blame life and the situations and my role in how things all got to that point. And man, I'm really starting to see the pattern now that I'm looking back. So, so we will continue analysis. We'll get back to you guys. Hope everything's going great for everybody else. Um, I have a, a little surprise for you guys, probably the first weekend in July. Um, that's another reason I kind of set up the Instagram account because I wanted to start swimming around with IGTV. Um, because, um, 
I just like the idea that there's competition against Facebook now. Um, so I want to kind of play both sides of that coin, and we'll see how it goes. So until next time, remember, it's good to be the king. <laughs>